csronwrestlinginc.com. Again, don't forget to go to Ticket King to get your VIP tickets. If you choose to do VIP, only six are being made available. You go to ticketkingonline.com, type in WrestleMania pre-party event, and your VIP, again, that gets you lunch with Noel Foley on WrestleMania Sunday. Plus, you get to meet Tommy Dreamer, meet Mr. Anderson, hang out with all of us, shoot a social media video. Lunch is included at Spirits on Bourbon. Great value. Otherwise, you can hang out uh, from one to three. There will be a free Q&A featuring Tommy Dreamer and Mr. Anderson. Guys, let's talk about what's the bigger priority here as we're getting closer and closer to WrestleMania. We have two uh, never-been-done-befores that both have been mentioned in promos and storylines uh, for them, respectively. What is the bigger priority? Getting the Usos a tag team title match on the main card of WrestleMania, which they've never had, as they pointed out, or getting Dolph Ziggler a singles one-on-one match on the main card of WrestleMania, which he's never had that he's pointed out. I think that the main thing here is to see that Dolph Ziggler's career, I think we've both agreed, is probably on the downswing in WWE. In he's reached his peak already. Yeah, he's already reached his peak. He's won the world title. And I think that it, it's the door is more so closed than it is open for more opportunities for him. The Usos, I could see, they're already, this is their peak right now, and I think they've got another year of strong work ahead of them. So I think they'll be on the main card, whether that's this year or not. Ziggler, on the other hand, I would say this might be a this year or bust for him. I have to completely agree with Juice here. Um, Ziggler has reached his main point. Like, he's definitely done very well for himself. And I think having, I mean, granted, maybe that would be the best way to go out, too. If this is coming up to him finishing his last couple of years, it would be great for him because yeah. the Usos still have so much. So they could do it in another couple of years. And that's kind of where I lie right there, Katie, is that this might be one of the last chances for Dolph Ziggler. You know, I mean, who knows? By this time next year, I mean, assuming he's still with the company, by this time next year, he could really, you know, he could really be moved to a point of where he's just there to completely put over talent. It's not even necessarily in the highest uh, part of the card. I think the Usos, while I, I think they've done the best work of their career, I think I'd rather get Dolph the singles match this year because, again, it might be one of his last opportunities. And if the Usos do have the match, which we kind of think that they would have, which would be at least against New Day and Harper and Rowan, it, it's way down here in terms of uh, tag matches. When you have Ronda Rousey in a tag match, when you have <laughs> Braun Strowman uh, against the bar and how, and how much attention is on Braun, I mean, I feel like you know they're, they're going to be so far down that, that, that they might even be relegated to the pre-show once they start to the time Mania out, which they really don't do until the week of. Um, so I would, hate, I would hate that to happen, so I would rather just put all the ducks right now in the Dolph Ziggler basket, worry about getting him something quality. He's, he, you know, he, he left for a month. We all thought he was gone. He comes back. They're doing this whole record scratch. He's mad at the world. So let's capitalize on it now before he, you know, before they. And as great as the Braun Strowman thing on the Raw side is, it's almost now overshadowed what would be the better tag division is on SmackDown. Absolutely. And they would definitely have a better match, whether it be Usos New Day again or if they had a third team like a Bludgeon Brothers or what have you. But Braun, being the attraction he is, taking over, maybe becoming the tag champions by himself or adding another guy. We'll talk about that later. I don't know. I just think it overshadows everything else. I agree, and that's that's what I mean. It's they're pushing it too much. I think they're overselling with all the tag matches and everything because we do already have a couple yeah. that are going to happen. And like we said about Ziggler, like this could be one of his last chances and opportunities. And everyone, like everyone, loves Ziggler. Like yeah. he has done well for himself. Like I said, so giving him this opportunity, it's a great way to go out. And it's like, oh, this is awesome. And then we can worry about all the tag matches afterward. I don't think WrestleMania would be the best place to expose that and come to a somewhat end point for all of them. I agree. I mean, if Ziggler's in a singles match, that's going to stand out because, yeah, the singles matches are going to be far outnumbered by the multi... I mean, yeah. I mean, look, you know, for the IC match, that's got that, that's got multi-man matches. Yep. That, that's, got, that's got multi... You know, it's not a singles competition. Um, the U.S. Championship likely Probably might be Jinder, well. Orton, and Bobby. Um, and again, know, with the tag matches, it doesn't help that the best tag match that will be there will be the one that's, you know, not even for a title with Rousey involved. Like, right. That's going to be the one with the most focus. So even if the Usos got in, fest. it would probably be like yeah. one of the third or fourth ones down there. Yeah. So. Well, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, hit us up on social media at CS Reality is the official Twitter account. And of course, you can find all of us on Twitter. You can see the uh, uh, handles right there on the screen. We got one more to come here in the playlist. Juice and Eisenberg going to wrap this baby up like a nice Christmas package. Don't miss it.